Welcome cuties, let's create. Today I'm gonna to be drawing on this cup and I did some testing on the bottom with Sharpie and I rubbed it to see if it would come off because I know I'm gonna be using it a lot and so the more I rubbed it, the more it came off. So I was a little skeptical at the beginning to see if this would even work. I got this cup from Dollar Tree and I wanted to use it for a new paint cup because right now I just have cups that I, my family has gotten from Domino's and I was like, oh, I want, you know, to make a cute cup and I want it to look like paint is dripping down. And I was like, well, I know Sharpie, you know, should be pretty good. And so I started, you know, doing this paint dripping I can't think of the word but anyway starting to it to look like paint and I really like color and I really like rainbows and pastels if you know me by now and <laughs> have seen my other um, videos but I decided to do kind of a rainbow gradient around just the top you know sometimes it goes down into the middle um, and some of, like, the last marker, I really like the color, but on the plastic, it doesn't look very well. Um, and I'm not super into dark colors, but I went ahead and did this dark green so that way I could have this dark blue. <laughs> and at first I was really liking it and going oh you know this is actually turning out pretty well even though this light blue and this purple hardly look any different Good, not gonna lie and so then once I was done with my outline I was like okay I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna color it in so I started coloring it in and first off number one thing apparently that pink marker was going out cuz <laughs> All of a sudden, it was not looking good, and I was like, what the heck? I, I mean, I just used it, and it was looking fine. So I decided to skip that color for now to see if, like, maybe the juices need to, to sit and whatever. So I started with the light pink instead, and it was looking pretty well and working. The only issue that I have with doing this is, you'll see it in here in a second, is that the Sharpie looks very, very streaky, and I don't like it. That was my only issue with the Sharpie, and I also had a hard time blending them in because I didn't really want to have this harsh line between the colors, but I also didn't want to ruin the color of the tips of the markers. So it was kind of a, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Most of my craft situations that I am doing in my, uh, my videos, they're all kind of experimental. So, but as you can tell, I kind of have this harsh line for now. And then I was like, okay, I'll go in later and then I'll blend it in. But then the more I drew, I was like, oh, I don't want to have, you know, my markers to, because if you, if you go over one color, you know, like let's say I draw with yellow and then, no, let's say I draw with a black marker and then I go over it with black, or I can't remember, but anyway, they're going to smear and it's going to smudge and it's going to ruin the, the tips of the markers. So I kind of ran into that situation that I was kind of like, oh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> um, and so... And there I tried to do <laughs> the dark pink that did not work. And so I was like, well, maybe if I go around with a second coat, it will look fine. But as you can tell, it's still really streaky and I don't like it. So I decided to get out some paint. <laughs> and this, I have never painted on Sharpie before. <laughs> See, there's my Domino's cup. So <laughs> now you get a sneak peek of what I have been living with. And what I and this cup is 
bigger. So another reason why I want to use it. Um, but anyway, I got these paints out that I used to paint a tackle box to keep all my kind of scrapbook supplies in. And so I had these left over and this is what it looked like when it dried. <laughs> It was interesting. Um, I mean, it was dry, but it was very streaky and very, very see-through. So I had to do a lot of coats to make it opaque, I think is the word that I'm looking for. And at first I had the harsh line and didn't um, blend yet. So here's what it looks like after a couple coats. I mean, they all look pretty fine. But the blue and the dark, the dark blue and the dark green really struggled. And here is with many different coats. I can't even tell you how many coats I painted. And I kind of brushed over the colors to kind of blend them a little. And it was just an interesting process. And I, I'm still really nervous that the paint is going to chip off and that the Sharpie will rub off. But you know, it's gonna work for now, and I like globbed on the paint. So when you go, well, maybe you were painting thin coats. No, I was like globbing it on, as you can tell, because it looks very globby. <laughs> um, yes, it's gonna be a word now. Um, so anyway, um, I like the colors, and I like the way that it looks. But I am very nervous that everything is gonna paint, or gonna chip, and fall off. <laughs> and then I'm gonna be stuck with the boring white again. But that's okay. It works for now. And what I do in a minute is, you'll learn, I love Mod Podge and, excuse me, I Mod Podge literally everything. And so I have a feeling that that's also gonna scrape off, but I wanna seal it anyway. So I Mod Podge it to hopefully seal it. And one thing that I notice when I seal it and put it on top of everything, it kind of makes the paint kind of bubble. But once it's dry, you're kind of able to like push the air bubbles out a little bit. So I only went over the paint part and this is what it turned out to look like. It kind of has a weird, like with the Mod Podge, it's making it the paint kind of see-through again and I again I've never seen that as you can tell you can kind of see the sharpie underneath in some sections but I will keep you updated to let you know if this chips and also look out for it in my next videos um, see there's an air bubble right there but it was fun it was just a fun little craft that I wanted to do and um, hopefully, cross your fingers that it lasts. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, leave a like and a comment. Until next time, keep creating.